um this was a while ago so i don't fully remember i just remember she was so rude and i had to stop watching her, her movies for quite some time but she just had like this energy of unhappiness you know and i granted people go through things in their lives but it was just so unpleasant you know like <sighs> yeah so and then she complained she came up to complain to me and she was just so rude i was like wow like i had to stop watching her movies for Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to Not Like Tara. So I've been doing like these fun personal story things and I think uh, this might be fun to do. I asked a few people for some questions for this live. If you want me to answer any questions, write in the comment section below. I'm doing celebrity stories and some of you might know that I have been for some reason throughout my life surrounded by a lot of celebrities um, in New York, in South Africa, uh here well not miami actually it's the first place i've lived in where i haven't seen any well that's not true i've seen celebrities just not a lot of celebrities i'm familiar with and what else actually a lot of celebrities go to my gym which is so funny i'm not gonna say which gym because i don't want anyone to stalk me <laughs> but yeah so i've just had a lot of stories and in la too i still live in la obviously uh i have had a lot of stories and i feel like it'll be fun to answer some questions that you all might have so if you want to keep this going write in the comment section something you'd like to know that i haven't covered in this video so it's gonna be so fun this is just for fun i'm not trying to out anybody i do i have had some close people in my life that are famous and i'm not going to talk about them at all because i want to give them that privacy um so some i still do have some but some are no longer in my life i don't want to talk about them because they deserve privacy <laughs> okay so other than people i personally know this is just interactions of celebrities that i've had so who's the nicest celebrity you have met <clears throat> and i will say robin Givens. and i said this in a video i've done before even though i'm usually <laughs> i say this about sagittarius i'm usually very hard on sagittarius and i don't mean to be i'm just telling personal stories I believe she's a Sagittarius, right? I think so. And she was so sweet. So I'm gonna tell you the story. I used to teach yoga. Um my past life. <laughs> Not my past life, but just before I do um what I do now. Well, kind of I've always read tarot before I started the channel, so forth and so forth. And I taught Bikram yoga, which is the hot yoga. Um I don't wanna say where because I think she deserves that privacy. But she came into, and it's so funny, my mother used to love her growing up and she actually wanted me to go to the same university, college that she went to and I, and I ended up telling her that. Um, but she was just so sweet, so humble and usually how I am because I've grown up around celebrities, I don't like to be like ah! <laughs> freaking out, all that kind of stuff. Actually, an ex-boyfriend I had used to work very closely with a lot of celebrities. I don't want to say who um, for a long time. So... I used to meet a lot of them through him but i uh met her and she came to my class she was like the last person to come in she's very humble very sweet just very kind like a genuinely kind person she's she started coming every week i remember she came every week for like a month and then she disappeared and i saw her again she came back to my class she was like i was looking for you and i was like oh my gosh it means so much to me and i told her the last time I saw her, actually, I told her that um, just how grateful I was that she's so kind and humble because I've met a lot of celebrities that aren't. <laughs> and she said, well, you have to be. You could tell gen that she's a genuinely kind person. I would also say Jessica Alba. After that, Jessica Alba, she was very kind. She's the second one, but that's another one. <laughs> okay, so second question. Who was the rudest celebrity that I met? Oh. I would say that's a toss up between Cameron Diaz. I mean, I've met so many rude ones, which is just like 
so unfortunate i met a lot of written fortunately a lot of them have been women and um especially i used to work at this restaurant tribeca we used to have a lot of celebrities come in at least three a night like big big names names <laughs> and this wasn't there this was another restaurant tribeca that i used to manage but uh at that one in tribeca tom brady's ex-wife she was not very nice at all um but i don't want to go too much into the story but she just wasn't nice but the cameron diaz way i think it's a toss-up but you know what i think cameron diaz takes it um i was managing the restaurant she came in i was like hi good evening she just looked straight past me just ignored me and i was like okay fine whatever and um this was a while ago so i don't fully remember i just remember she was so rude and i had to stop watching her, her movies for quite some time but she just had like this energy of unhappiness you know and i granted people go through things in their lives but it was just so unpleasant you know like <sighs> yeah so and then she complained she came up to complain to me and she was just so rude i was like wow like i had to stop watching her movies for a good four years after that so even now i'm just like i used to really appreciate her as an actress i used to watch all her movies i watched vanilla sky my best friend's wedding but now when i see her on something i'm just like i'm good so <laughs> next question which one had the best pickup line okay so i'm not trying to say i'm all that but i have been hit on a few times by some celebrities uh <laughs> this is funny other than people that i've ended up dating <laughs> i don't want to tell that story but <laughs> i have a keep forgetting Gina's story and um at the afterwards i kind of felt like ew, he was being weird but as i've grown up especially because i was younger you know and i was like this old man's hitting on me <laughs> for kind of weird but i actually looking back now i'm like you know what he wasn't actually doing anything he was being a gentleman and it's controversial to say because he's been in the headlines for getting up to some crazy things but to me honestly he was just a gentleman and i was working at this uh bar it's like a it was a cocktail bar in new york just before i left new york to move to la and i saw him look at me because i was at the service bar if you've worked at a restaurant there's a service bar and there's the regular bar so i had come because i was closing and i was very naughty <laughs> before i closed i used to go drinking and then i go to work because it was kind of like a light it was kind of like a nightclub there was music and so forth so i had already a bit of tequila <laughs> and i went to the service bar and i was busy dancing by the service bar waiting for my drinks and i saw him across the bar and i saw him look at me and i was like uh oh he's coming over here you know when you just could tell that look when a guy's coming over so i disappeared because at the time i said this before i didn't really like to date actors i had dated two actors before that and it didn't they were very sweet but it didn't really end up well because i felt like they weren't really prioritizing me they were prioritizing their careers and the one was even moving to la from new york but i saw him and i was like oh, oh he's coming here so let me let me run let me disappear so i asked my friend to take my drinks and i disappeared i went to the other side for like 15 minutes or so so i'm like okay i got away <laughs> fine so i'm busy in my section they moved me sections not because of him because um i was closing and i had to move from outside to inside so i'm inside and i'm busy serving people i literally turn around and i, I did like a spin and <laughs> standing right in front of me and he said something like you tried to get away from me something like that and i was like uh i kind of did but it wasn't like anything mean it was funny and he was cool but my one of my colleagues was obsessed with him and he i was like oh here's my friend talk to him he loves you <laughs> i disappeared so then after that he came back again and i was like no i'm just no not interested but he was really cool um and yeah so that's a pickup line that i have <laughs> okay 
Okay, who was the most sincere? Okay, other than people that I've known <coughs> personally who are well known. I would say the most sincere was Robin Givens, obviously. But also Jessica Alba. So she used to come oh my gosh an mia so i used to work at this like bakery when i first moved back to new york i was a teenager <laughs> i used to work at this bakery in the lower east side it was on rivington and clinton and i have so many great memories in that place i worked there for on and all four years and um when i first started working there jessica alba used to come to there and there was a time she came like every day. She was very sweet. She always left a good tip. She was just a very kind person. And um, she was very sincere. She looked people in the eyes to thank you. And she was a very sincere person. And actually one of my friends used to teach her yoga and he said the same thing about her. Very sweet, very sincere, very sincere person. Um, and MIA too, MIA used to come. I actually remember one time she came and she was sat in the corner on like a couch we had like a couch by the plants i can't believe i remember all of this <laughs> so when i was a teenager and she came with this guy i think that was her husband at the time and a woman they were i think they were having a business meeting but they left and i think they left me like a 10 percent tip but i didn't really care you know i was like okay whatever and i went i was by the cashier counting my money she came back she gave me 50 dollars the check was like 30 dollars she gave 50 dollars and she said thank you so much i'm sorry we left you a short tip and i was like oh and then i was like who is she again and i was like oh my gosh it's m.i.a and at the time paper planes had come out and it was like very popular um so <clears throat> i was a paper yeah it was at the time paper planes and she was just very very sweet and i I always remember that story because when I saw headlines about her that she was racist and I was like, she was definitely not racist. <laughs> I know racism, she was definitely not racist. And anytime I see anything bad about her, I always tell my story of how kind, considerate, let me tell you something, I've met lots of celebrities that have sipped me on tips, have just been rude to me, when I was a yoga teacher insulting me, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm very grateful for the ones that have been nice. Okay, which one would you date? Hmm, that I've met? Ah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> That's a really good question. I don't think any, actually. Hmm, I did meet Bradley Cooper a while ago. And he turned me off. He was one of the rude ones. <laughs> he wasn't the rudest, but he was one of the rude ones. I met Leonardo DiCaprio, very rude. Um, yeah, I just, I'm not interested. Yeah, I wouldn't. Let me get back to that question. Then last question, who would you be friends with? Um, my great, good friend, for years used to be well he is still famous and i decided to no longer be friends with him for reasons um for him not accepting certain things about me it doesn't really matter it's not a big deal our friendship was really pretty much over um so it kind of told me that i don't think i would be really good friends with a lot of celebrities in general but I would definitely be friends, I think age-wise, Robin Givens might be out of my friendship age range, you know what I'm saying? Because she is around my mother's age and I think it's a bit inappropriate to have <laughs> friends that are your parents' age. But I think I would be friends with Jessica Alba for sure. Um, she was just so sweet. Again, I feel like I'm not in that lifestyle and all of my friends that are in Hollywood and people I've dated in Hollywood, they know that about me and they're like, just don't get her involved in any of that stuff. But yeah, um, out of the ones I've met, those two, for sure. And MIA, oh my gosh, MIA, I'll be friends with hands down. 
hands down she's actually number one i don't know why i forgot about her hands down number one i'll be friends with her definitely least friends with Cameron Diaz. oh my gosh <laughs> that was all the questions i answered them how fun was that <laughs> Please, I would love to hear if you have any other questions about celebrities I've met. Those who have been in my personal life, I do not answer about because I don't believe in snitching. But those that I've met, I would love, love, love to talk about that. So I love you all. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care.